So hi guys, welcome back. In this session, we are going to talk about method overriding and method overloading. To watch this session, I will recommend to watch the previous session of polymorphism. In that session, we have seen how we can represent a single object in many different ways. So guys, some of you aware of method overriding and method overloading in C++ and Java programming. In the same way, we will be used these two concepts in Python programming. So guys, method overriding means when you have two methods with the same name and that each perform different tasks. It means one of the method overrides others. So guys, while you are using method overriding, some of the points you should keep in mind while you are working on method overriding. So first of all, inheritance should be present in your code and method overriding cannot be performed in the same class. And one more thing guys, overriding can only be executed when a child class is derived using inheritance. In inheritance, child class inherits the method from the parents class, fine. However, in some situation, it is possible to modify the method in the child class that method inherit from the parent class. You can see that. So guys here, employee and developer, these are child class and the child class has own features and child class want to modify the some features of parent class. In such cases, we are re-implementing a method fine. So here I have defined display data and the same method I have defined display data here. It means some of the method and some of the functionalities I am adding in employee class and in the same way I am adding into the developer class or in other words, I can say that if a function defined in your parent class and in the same method defined in your child class as well. So guys using the parent or child class, you can call the method respectively fine, but that method will have different features in parent class and the same method will have different features in your child class as well. Let's take an example based on method overriding. So here, let me define a class, which is person. Now I am going to define a constructor and here I am going to call name and age. So name and age, these are two variables. So self dot name equal to name and self dot age equal to age. And here I'm going to define a display method, which is display data and self. So this is nothing. This is a over written method. Okay. Now print. So guys, this is nothing. This is the parent class method. Okay. Now I'm going to show the some of the information, which is name is self dot name and print, which is age is self dot age. Now I'm going to create a, another class, which is employee. And here I'm going to inherit the class, which is person. And let me call once again or define constructor a name, age and ID. Now I'm calling the constructor of my super class, which is super in it a name and age. Okay. So guys, in case you want to call the class constructor or you can say that parent class constructor, then you can use super. And apart from that, I'm going to define own variable, which is self dot employee ID equal to ID. And now let me call once again, display data, same method with the same name, but different features. Now here, this is nothing. This is overriding method. Now print. So this is the employee class method, right? employee class display data method. Now let me call these two and I'm going to print the employee ID, which is self dot employee ID. Okay. So guys here child class is access the property and function of the parent class. Okay. And extending additional features by child class as well. 
so here you can see that i am calling the display data and apart from that i am going to define a another variable which is employee id and in the same way i am going to create a another class which is developer class so class developer and here i am going to inherit the employee so this is multi level inheritance now def in it so self name age id and here i am going to show the information of experience so let's say experience so once again i am going to call the super method in it add let me call the name age and id and self dot experience equal to experience and now let me call this one and print experience which is self dot experience simple now let me instantiate the person class object so person class object so let's say person equal to person so guys first of all you need to define which is name and age so name and age which is let's say daniel and you can define the age let's say 30 years old okay now i am going to call person dot display data fine so using the person display data i will print only employee name and employee age and after that i am going to create a blank line and now let me create a employee class object which is emp equal to employee and in the employee i need to define a name age and their employee id so once again daniel and here 30 and here i am going to define employee id which is 101 and now in the same way i am calling the display data method okay so you can see that same method i am defining here but the same method is displaying different different information okay now once again let me create a blank line and the same way i am going to create an object for the developer class so developer class object so dev equal to developer and here i am going to pass some of the information which is let's say daniel age 30 years old id 101 and experience let's say 5 years now display data let me run this so you can see that so i am calling the parent class method in the parent class i have defined only the self name and self dot age and using the display function or method i am going to display these two information sim using the display data and in the same way i am going to define the class which is employee and i am calling the name and age and apart from that i am going to create a employee id and the same thing i am going to display using the display data and in the same way i am going to create a class developer right so here and this is the information from employee class which is display data method and it is displaying name age and employee id and this is developer class so let me developer and here i am going to display the developer class information which is name age and employee id and experience so guys here child class having the same method and the same number of parameters as the parent class which is display data and the same method which is display data displaying different different information in each classes okay and one more thing guys method overriding is an important features of inheritance in the python program So guys I hope you understood how we can use method overriding in python inheritance now let's move to the method overloading so guys first of all i am telling you python does not support truly method overloading features but we can achieve little bit 
by using some tricks so first of all i am telling you what does method overloading let's say a class having method that are same name with different arguments argument different will be based on number of argument and types of argument and method overloading is basically used to write the code clarity and reduce the complexity so guys normally in python we don't have the same name for different methods let's take an example how we can achieve little bit method overloading using the tricks so let's say i am going to define a class which is method overloading concept right i am going to create a function in this function i am going to create some of the arguments which is a and b and c equal to i am going to define zero and t equal to i am going to define zero as well and here i am going to add these two arguments which is a and plus b and apart from that i am going to add c and d as well and d fine and now i am going to return to the function whatever the sum of s fine now see how can i call this method based on different different arguments okay so let me instantiate which is method overloading method overloading and now let's say sum equal to mo dot sum let's say 7 comma 8 so guys here i am calling the sum function right using the two arguments and after that i am going to print the sum is which is sum 1 and once again i am calling the same method which is mo dot sum or let's say three arguments and print which is sum 1 and the same way i am going to enter the four argument which is 7 or let's say you can change the value and 11 10 once again so i am calling this method with the help of four arguments now print and the sum is let's say sum 1 so you can see that the same method i am calling which is sum with the help of different different argument so this is the concept of method overloading so method overloading means when you have same name but different different arguments so you can see that so i am getting the different different answer while you are calling this method based on different different arguments fine so guys first of all you need to understand the python does not support truly features of method overloading okay So guys I hope you understood the concept of polymorphism and method overriding and overloading in greater details if not please watch this video once again or let me know in the comment below but guys please do practice so that you can easily understand these concept and you can remember and you can correlate these concept while you are making your projects or while you are using these concept in your development so guys thanks for watching and have a great day